Hello. Hi, everyone. So Ash and I decided to take it back to basics for a bit just to help out anybody new that is just starting out with essential oils, but also just as a nice refresher for uh, anyone that has been using oils for a while because it is very, very important when you are using essential oils that you do know the basics and you know how to use them safely and effectively. So we're just going to be doing a little series going over all of the beginner things that you need to know using essential oils. Now, we have been using essential oils for um, just over three years. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about why we got started with oils, you know, what made us decide to take that um, jump to living a more natural lifestyle. For me, it was that I was just becoming more aware of toxins and the effect that they have on our bodies. I was interested, I had just become interested in figuring out how to make um, our family healthier and my body healthier. I had two little kids, uh, two and four at that time, and I hadn't really been taking very good care of myself before that. And so I kind of had my light bulb moment where I was like, all right, it's my time. It's my time to get my health back on track. And so with that, I just started researching. And I actually came across a documentary called The Truth About Cancer. If you haven't watched that, it's really, really amazing. It's a life changer for sure. It changed my life because it put me on this journey. So I just became more aware of things in our life that affect our health negatively. So toxins, that's where I started. So my whole um, starting point was to eliminate toxins in our house. And so through my research, I realized hey, a lot of people are using essential oils to eliminate toxins, to make their own cleaning products. So maybe I need to get some essential oils in my life. And so that's when I reached out to a friend from London who was using doTERRA and she actually introduced me and got me my first essential oil kit. I, I had never been to an essential oil class before. This was just something that, you know, came to me through my research and I knew I needed it. So that's where I started and it was baby steps. It was little things. It was changing out my cleaners, making my own all-purpose cleaner, diffusing to clean the air, diffusing to help us sleep and applying oils topically to help our immune systems. And so, you know, I learned really quickly because I was so interested and I saw results really quickly as well. So kind of was like, oh, there's something to these essential oils. Let me figure out more. So that's really where I started with the essential oils. And then obviously I was obsessed and talked to my sister about them and got her on board as well. So that's where it started for us. But why, so that's why we started to kind of move towards a more natural lifestyle. It was to eliminate toxins. And then it snowballed from there and now it's just full out amazingness. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about Big Pharma, about the FDA and essential oils. So essential oils come from plants. They are grown in nature. The FDA and Big Pharma cannot touch essential oils. Anybody has the ability to go out, find the plants and create their own essential oils. So it cannot be a monopoly. FDA cannot, the FDA or Big Pharma, sorry, Big Pharma, pharmaceutical companies cannot take plants and patent them and create their own essential oils, right? So they don't want anything to do with them because of that. You know, essential oils are not a food, they're not a drug, and so they cannot be FDA approved, their plants. So that's why there's no governing agency to decipher whether or not an essential oil is safe. Again, you're going to see everywhere that so many people do not suggest taking essential oils internally. That's because, again, there's no governing body to tell us whether that essential oil actually is 100% pure or is not 100% pure. 
So Ash will talk about this more in, you know, when she talks about why we chose to go with doTERRA. But it's good to know that as well because it's really, really important. Very important. You cannot be going around getting your oils from Walmart and then taking them internally. That's very dangerous because a lot of these oils will contain synthetic chemicals because it's cheaper to create that way. Dilution of the essential oils, so they have to put less essential oils, more synthetic chemicals so that they can provide cheaper um, essential oils for you. That's why one of the reasons why, obviously, we chose doTERRA. So with pharmaceutical companies, they obviously create a drug, patent it, and then sell it for millions of dollars. They can't do that with essential oils, like I said, because they're plants and they come from nature. So they do this by replicating um, a constituent, a chemical, they'll replicate an essential oil or something that is comes from nature or plants, right? And they will replicate it by using synthetic chemicals and then they will sell it. An example of this would be the sun. You can't bottle up the sun and sell it. So what they do is they take the vitamin D, they don't take it from the sun, they replicate vitamin D and then they sell it in bottles. And obviously that's amazing because we need vitamin D, it's good for our bodies, and so we have that option for ourselves during the winter when we can't get enough vitamin D from outside, from the sun. So it is a good thing sometimes, but sometimes not so much. So that's about it for talking about the FDA and pharmaceutical companies. I'm going to talk a little bit later about, you know, why we choose essential oils over pharmaceuticals for the most part. But very quickly, I kind of already uh, touched on this. Essential oils, like I said, come from plants. They come from nature. They come from trees. They come from the bark. They come from the stems, the root, the leaves. They come from grass. They come from uh, citrus fruits as well. So they are actually the part of the plant that protects it from environmental threats. So essential oils are basically the immune system of the plant. So it protects them from insects, from fungus, from bacteria, and it keeps them alive and healthy, right? So I think it's pretty amazing that we take that part of the plant and we use it to help us and to help our immune system and our bodies. Actually, um, essential oils are more like our own, you know, cellular makeup than chemical synthetic drugs would be. So obviously that means essential oils are going to work better in our bodies than other drugs, medicine that you might take will work because our bodies are like, hey, I kind of recognize this. This is kind of like, you know, fits into our bodies naturally. So I'm going to allow it to work. I'm going to allow it to work with all of our systems to create healthy cells. So they are actually considered, essential oils are considered volatile aromatic compounds. And really all that means is that they um, they will, if you put them on your skin direct, they will evaporate into the air. And that's why when you open a bottle of essential oils, they go into the air so quickly and you can smell them that quickly because they do evaporate into the air. So nature, we have a little visitor, visitor. say hi. Hi. All right. I'm sick today. <laughs> He's sick? So we've been using some Digesen or Zengest on his belly. Right? And it still doesn't work for my bum. <gasps> no, that would be lavender and coconut oil. Okay, say bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, go. So essential oils really have been around forever, right? They've been around for thousands and thousands of years. Nature knows best. Think about back, you know, in the days where they didn't have all the technology that we have now. They had to find rem they had to find remedies in nature. So that's why we're kind of coming back to that now, which I love. I find that amazing because we are starting to again realize wow, all the a lot of the support that we need can be found 
in nature and not in a factory. All right, now, essential oils versus prescription drugs. They are, essential oils are going to be um, less expensive in the long run. doTERRA, you pay, actually with any essential oil, you you get what you pay for. So cert, like le, a bottle of lemon essential oil, $11. Frankincense and doTERRA, I mean, frankincense is $80. But frankincense is one of the most amazing oils you could have in your house. And we're going to talk about that um, in our series. But there are variations of prices with doTERRA because of the way that the products, the oils are sourced and the way that they're distilled and they're harvesting, right? Some oils are a lot more difficult to get than other oils. So when you see, uh, when you go to a store and you see that the lemon and the frankincense and the rosemary and the all of the oils cost $10, same price, no, not a good sign. That's a red flag right there that these oils are adulterated and are not pure. So just keep that in mind. So the other thing, oh, he wanted to show Theo. Okay. Bye. Say hi. Theo. Hi, Theo. Hi. Bye, Theo. Bye, Theo. All right, so. Does our puppy look good? Yes, he does. He's adorable. So the other really amazing thing about essential oils is that they go into our bodies, they go into our cells, and they treat the root cause. They actually have the ability to cross the cell membrane to go directly into the cell and fix what the issue is. Whereas a synthetic drug, a pharmaceutical, is going to just mask the symptoms. And you know, people start taking prescription drugs for something, but then they need to take more to, to help with the side effects that they're getting from that original drug. So it's just a downward spiral from there. Essential oils have no side effects. We love to say that essential oils don't have side effects, they have side benefits. So if you think about it, let's say that you are putting lavender and tea tree on a rash on your arm. So you're using lavender and tea tree to help clear up your skin condition because that's what they do. Think about what you're also getting. So with the lavender, you're going to be getting calming, the calming benefits from lavender. You're going to be getting the immune boosting benefits from tea tree. So along with the no side effect thing, you're getting benefits and it's helping your body in a positive way. Now, we love essential oils because it really gives us a lot of power. It allows us to take ownership of our family's health. You know, like Holden just mentioned, he's not feeling well. He has a tummy bug. And so when he wakes up in the middle of the night saying that his stomach hurts, well, I don't have to panic that, oh, I can't make it to a walk-in clinic in the middle of the night. I just go and I grab my Zen Jest and I rub it on his tummy with some fractionated coconut oil. So you have these oils, these plant-based medicines at your fingertips to help you in, in those times of need. Obviously, we are very thankful for Western medicine and there's, you know, we totally think that there is a time and a place for it. And, but, but again, it doesn't have to be only, you know, we are allowed to use all of these different tools that we have to help us with our health. All right. So I'm going to talk a little bit about reducing your toxic load because that is one of the huge reasons why most people begin to use essential oils. So toxins come from the inside of our house, toxins come from the outside of our house, toxins outside are gonna be things like smoke and pollution, and things from the inside of your house are going to be products that you're you know, breathing in or that you're putting on your body, so cleaning products that you're breathing in. A lot of really, really harsh, harmful chemicals are in those cleaning products. A lot of things that you're putting on your skin that are being absorbed by your body. They um, contain a lot of harmful ingredients that you want to stay away from. 
And with these chemicals and these toxins that you're encountering on a daily basis, they start to build up in your body. And then they lead to, you know, they can lead to lots of things. They can lead to minor things, you you know, like lack of energy or difficulty sleeping, but they can also lead to bigger things like diseases. So you want to reduce your toxic load as much as you can. And one of the ways to do that is just start incorporating essential oils, diffusing essential oils. It's going, they're going to clean some of those toxins out of your air and kill any germs of bacteria in your air. You can replace your cleaning products as you, as you run out of them. So just making your own all-purpose cleaning spray is super easy. It's just vinegar, water, essential oils, and just as effective as bleach. There's lots of research and studies out there that prove that. And then again, you're breathing these in, but they're not harming your body. They're actually building your immune system and they're making your body stronger. So with your toxic load, the two ways that you can deal with it is by number one, by reducing your toxic load, which is huge, and also by detoxifying. So trying to eliminate the toxins from your body. And obviously you can do that through, you know, diet, exercise, sleeping right, properly, getting enough sleep, using, you know, taking your vitamins, but also essential oils. There's uh, oils like cilantro that are really great for taking heavy metals out of the body. So you can put certain essential oils on the bottoms of your feet before bed to help eliminate those toxins. We have an oil called Zendocrine, which is our detoxifying blend. And then there's things like Epsom salt bath. Like we take at least to the kids every other day an Epsom salt bath. So Epsom salts, hot water, one cup, sorry, one cup of Epsom salts, half a cup of baking soda, hot water. We use a natural uh, bubble bath. We actually use doTERRA's body wash as our bubble bath because we know it's clean and it's safe for the kids. And then throw in some essential oils in there as well. I love to throw in tea tree and then serenity because it's like calming and then it's immune boosting as well. So having an Epsom salt bath a few times a week, that's going to help eliminate those toxins from your body as well. So like I said, you know, we've been slowly integrating this, these oils and these different ideas of natural living into our lives for the past three years. It doesn't have to be all at once. That's overwhelming. So take your time, do it slowly. Don't throw out all of your stuff. Just replace it with a natural option when you run out. We, you know, many of our health, issues can be can be prevented so you know for me I would much rather spend time and spend money on preventing disease preventing illness taking the time you know to create a healthy home for our family rather than having to deal with it later so spending the time and the money later to try to fix the health issue that comes up you know, we, we do have the choice. And again, a lot of people, it just kind of, it isn't their time yet and the light bulb hasn't gone off. And so when that happens for you, then, you know, run with it. It's a great feeling to be able to take ownership of your family's health and accountability and have these amazing tools at your fingertips, have these amazing resources for you as well. And our oil group has tons of ideas. You can type in any, you know, cleaning product you want to make, any beauty product, any remedy, and you can find answers as, there as well. But this is our passion. We love helping people. We love helping people make the transition to a more natural, healthy lifestyle. It brings us so much joy. So if obviously, as we always say, if you guys have any questions about anything or need help, reach out to us because we would be happy to. Hope you guys found this useful and have a wonderful day. Bye.